Howdy everyone, this is Trisha and welcome to my channel. Today I am still doing things for the, the rental home. So if you haven't uh, been watching my previous videos, uh, I have a rental home next door to me and my renters moved out. So we're doing some improvements. We're having the walls painted. I went in there and I, we cleaned really well. And uh, now I'm gonna have somebody come. Well, the, the walls are still being painted. The house is still being painted. But uh, I'm also gonna have somebody come in and replace a bathroom faucet and the bathroom lighting so I had to go yesterday pick up some stuff and then there was a mirror in the bathroom uh, it, it wasn't a vanity uh, uh, the vanity we had removed it uh, before my last renters and we decided to put in a mirror and I'll show you that in a minute uh, but it's a brown it's a dark brown mirror so I decided I'm a, I took it off I've cleaned it I haven't cleaned the, the mirror part too well but I've cleaned the frame of it so I'm gonna spray paint that way so let me show you that all right, so this is the mirror. It's a nice size mirror, and uh, it just has a nice wire in the back to hang it from the wall. I actually went into the bathroom over there when I removed it uh, because I remember that we had removed the uh, medicine uh, little cabinet that was there, uh, and I couldn't remember if it was a recessed one or if it was just hanging on the wall. It was just hanging on the wall, so there's no hole or anything. It's just some, some small holes from where it had been screwed into the wall, so I did go in there and fill those in with spackling. So now I'm going to spray paint this and I just have a regular like a, I don't know if it's gloss or semi-gloss spray paint. I didn't buy anything too expensive. Uh, besides this, I have another little project. I'm just going to make a small little wreath uh, so that then I can hang it in the front door. So let's uh, go ahead and tape up the mirror part and I'm going to cover it with something, probably some plastic bags uh, so that I can just freely spray uh, around the frame. And there it is. I've got some, uh, I got one of these uh, puppy pads from the Dollar Tree. I, I put uh, blue tape on the edge first, and then I put this, and then I take that to the uh, blue tape. That was just to make sure that the first uh, blue tape that I put on was actually right on the edge here. And as you can see, I had, you know, some space here. So I couldn't just tape that and, you know, align it. Sometimes it's hard to do that when you're taping something down to something and then to align it also to the edge. So the best thing is to always put an edge of blue tape or masking tape, whatever you're using first, and then put something else and tape that to the existing tape. All right, so then I got, this is the paint that I got. I got it from Walmart. I bought these paints before. Um, it says fast drying, all purpose, spray enamel. This is the white and it's a little gloss on there, so obviously that's what it is. So I'm gonna take this outside, spray paint it, and while it's drying, I've got another little project to do. All right, so this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make a little wreath and I would like to put it on the front door of the house uh, when I'm showing it or just to leave it there so that you know the new tenants will have a pretty little wreath to look at as they come to the front door. Uh, or they can move it inside, whatever they wish to do. It's just a little welcoming kind of a gift. Now. I kind of already have somebody already chosen to rent to. When it's gonna happen, I have no idea. But anyway, there's no rush right now, uh, as far as you know, my side, uh, but, well, kind of, but not really. I mean, you wanna have the house rented, but anyway. I'm gonna go ahead and remove this tag from here. This is from the Dollar Tree, this particular wreath, and it was $5. I went ahead and I paid for it because it is a grapevine wreath and it does have this greenery already on there. It's got a nice little loop here to hang it with. But anyway, as I was saying, um, I may not be in a hurry. I don't know if the people that are offering to rent uh, or they want to rent are in a time, uh, are they in a crunch of a time? I, I haven't been told that. So, okay. So, uh, but I would like to put something there for whomever. All right. So, I am going to put these little flowers on it. And I got these from the Dollar Tree as well. So I went on errand yesterday, Home Depot, Lowe's, to get some items for the house. Uh, like I said, I'm having the faucet uh, replaced, a light fixture replaced. Those are things that are getting replaced in the bathroom. So I thought, you know, I'll paint that mirror. And I cleaned the mirror really well, and I was noticing on the sponge, there's a little bit of staining on the sponge from, I guess, from the color from the... Uh, the frame itself, like it's, you know, just wearing out and just wiping off a little bit. So I try to wipe it as much as I could and then I used the towel to, to dry it. But I'm noticing that when I was spray painting it with the brown paint that um, there was some little spots, you know, coming up where, you know, the maybe the, the color from the frame is mixing with the white and it's like 
creamy color little little spots here and there so I'll see once I give it the second coat and maybe I'll have to brush on a paint like I said there's no rush at this point anyway anyway uh, with that mirror I do want to put it back uh, so it but I do have another mirror that I could replace it with in case I decide you know what that mirror is a mess is a mess it's a really good mirror so I don't really want to give up on it okay so I got these little flowers at the Dollar Tree as well as y'all know, everything's $1.25 now, except they do have an, uh, another aisle where they have $3 and $5 items. So this is from that. And this is from a store called At Home, and I paid $3.99 for that. This is a really good deal for this bundle of, of flowers, okay? Okay, let's see. Let's go ahead and start putting some flowers on this. I do have a ribbon I already had here at home. So I'm gonna use this, get the cute little bees on it, so I can put a little bow on it. And then I still have some little bees that I bought from Hobby Lobby, this little pick. It's got a little, uh, little wire on it, and they're just like little, little bees, just kind of like, boing, 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 you know, <laughs> look like they're flying around, so they're really cute. This was in a package, I don't recall how many, but when I was doing my kitchen with a new lemon uh, design, I bought these, and I went to Hobby Lobby looking for items, and I went into their party section. So this is where you're gonna find something like this. If you, you know, you, I was looking for stickers and stuff like that, but I, then I noticed these in the party section, I said, oh, I'm grabbing those. Those are beautiful for the arrangement. So I'm gonna use one of them. I had stuck in one of my plants here next to me. Okay, so we're gonna make a bow and I'm just gonna make a simple bow. I'm not gonna make a multi-loop bow. So just some ribbon, wrap around, bring the pretty side up. That's my dog. <laughs> she had a little, a little, I don't know, dogs like to make that oof, kind of noise. She's probably playing with a little kitten maybe, that's what it is. Okay, so then we can cut this. Make it super easy. And I think, I don't know if I'm gonna use all the flowers, but let's see, that's five, four, one, two, three, 75. That's nine, 1275 plus a little, a little bit of a bow. You know what I mean? It's not much that I'm using. And I mean, I'm using one of these little picks. I don't remember how much, how many there were, but the packet probably was like $1.99. I don't remember paying too much for them. I just think it was a really good deal. So, I mean, this is just cents, a little cents. So to $12.75, we're just gonna round it off to $15. And uh, that's what I spent, more or less, to make a very simple little wreath. So let's decide where we want our bow. And I'm kind of looking at it. I don't know why to me this feels fuller and this side doesn't. So I'm gonna hot glue it down there. Got my hot glue gun ready here. There we go. Look, you guys, I got these plates at the Dollar Tree uh, last year around November time for Dia de los Muertos. We're actually like Halloween time. In October they put them out all the Halloween stuff they put these out and I had my birthday party uh, like Halloween birthday party <laughs> thing going so I did a, that kind of a theme and I have these little plates and I'm using one for my glue gun I have a whole bunch of them uh, my, my son said he wants them so he's gonna take some of those with him to when he moves for school if that if that's what ends up happening if he ends up moving or maybe he's just gonna commute it's just that the gas is so much you guys but even still, the gas won't add up to rent. Although he's got his, you know, he's got his GI Bill and he's got this, you know, all these other things that he's applied to and he's already been approved. It's just, you know, getting the, getting a place. Okay, so this is kind of almost at the perfect spot because here's a little loop to hang it from. So there we go. And I'm just gonna tuck these. Actually, I need to cut them a little bit shorter. Just a little bit of glue and we're gonna just Start filling in here and there. Actually, let me do the big flowers. That's where I usually start. I don't know why I started with the smaller ones. So just cut them at, so they have a short stem. Some with leaves, some with not. We don't really need all that. Okay, I cut those for now. And we'll just place them. Let's see. here let's make sure it goes into the wreath there we go push it in there yeah there we go 
because that's another way for it. You know when you put things outdoors, uh, and, you know, the glue, that especially I'm just using the, an ex, the least expensive hot glue. Um, and, uh, you know, the, with the weather and stuff, it wears out. And, you know, the wind and the dryness, especially here with our heat, uh, they, these glues wear out. So little things can fly off. So you want to make sure you anchor them in there really well. Hopefully keep them from flying off. Okay, so I put two of them together here. Let's do another two and then maybe another two like that. I keep wanting to take this off, it's part of it. I thought it was another little stem. Okay, let's do that. Go a little bit lower this time over here. Spin that one that way. So this one going inward. So let's fix that. And one more. Okay, so these are my focal flowers, a main flower. So I always put that one first. You decide where you want that. And then take your whatever smaller little flowers you have and your greenery and then fill around, you know, your flowers. So that way, you know, you'll know where to place things. If you have your, your, your main flowers put down first. I'm also trying to kind of like hurry because I do have some people coming because uh, I have another rental house across the street from the one that I've been showing you. And um, my renter said that the light in the back is not working. So um, I had someone come and look at it and look at the threshold, the back door also, because it was kind of loose and, you know, some air, you can see light going through it. I'm just gonna fix that. But I went and I bought, I went uh, to Home Depot. I ordered this stuff from Lowe's, not Home Depot. I ordered everything from Lowe's online and then I just put it so I could just pick it up. So thankfully, um, that was ready early and I was able to pick it up already. Uh, but I'm waiting for either my renter or them to call and say they're there or something. Well, especially my renter, she has to be there. Um, I, I, don't, I won't go into the house without my renter, so <laughs> I've already told her, you know, you have to be there. Anyway, so it said they would come this afternoon and it's already getting close to three o'clock, so I'm trying to hurry up and do this. I don't think I need any more, you guys, so look, I'm saving, what is this, uh, $2.50 here, not putting those in there. I think that looks really pretty, just like that. What do you think? Look at that. Thankfully, because of all this beautiful little fern greenery, it's like a little plasticky greenery, but it looks really pretty. I love the tones, so I don't mind that they're that plasticky type of material. Okay, I'm cutting the, I, I turned off some of the, the wire on this, excuse me, my goodness, on this B, because it was too long. And I'm just going to make it like a little tiny, like little loop here. Oops, let me show you just a little loop on the bottom, just so it ha there's some space to put some glue on. You know, there's some... Uh, you know, not just a thin little, th one thin little wire, but uh, base is what I'm forming. And I'm just going to stick it in there, down here near the bow. And you know what? Maybe I should have just done that from the beginning. <laughs> I'm just going to glue it to the bow right here. There. It would have been pretty to leave it loose and let the wind blow it, but I think it'd be, it's best that it's glued down. There we go. So there we go, you guys. That's the second uh, thing. So uh, as soon as that mirror is hopefully done, <laughs> it might need uh, additional you know, paint to it, but I'll show you what it looks like uh, as far as me painting it with that spray paint. And then that'll be it. All right, you guys, so I decided to come out here. I I've only given it that one uh, coat of uh, spray, but like I was telling you, see how um, in some places 
the paint is white but then if you look over here I don't know if you can tell this changes right here compared to this over here you can tell even right here compared to right here just little spots and I don't know if it's really that you know kind of like in here too I'm gonna go over here where the Sun is hitting it maybe you can notice it a little bit more can you notice that it's white here and then it turns kind of yellowy over here especially right up there like if I turn it this way maybe you could see it a little bit better what I'm talking about okay so uh, lesson learned <laughs> is that you want to scrub something really well maybe even sand it down and then use a good paint this is this was not it's not a bad paint but it's probably should have just been used for a smaller little craft and not some bathroom mirror but I'm going to go ahead and finish spraying it. I do have another spray paint of some, a better paint that I could do on top of that. So this is sort of going to be my primer, I guess. So I'll give another spray. And um, at least I'm hoping that I do have the other spray paint because I may have used it for something else. So we'll see what it looks like after. So I'll be back. All right, so I've given it a second coat. And I've gone over, especially like on those areas where um, the other color seem to be uh, kind of seeping through where the discoloration was happening and I don't see it happening again on the second coat it looks that looks pretty good I mean you know well there's a little damage to, that was done to the mirror but we're not gonna worry about that it's just a little thing otherwise the mirror is really nice let's go around up here you can see that it just looks white I don't see that discoloration and the first time that I did the when I did the first coating the first coat I mean I could see the that beige a creamy color forming the discoloration happening immediately as soon as I sprayed it so hopefully what I sprayed sealed whatever's there whatever was there and now the second coat it's still not dry it needs some time to dry uh, so I'll come back back and look at it I have a tiny little bit of paint I need to go inside if I, and see if I do have that other can of spray paint that I think I have you know the better quality uh, if not it's no big deal I do have a white brush on paint or that I could give it a, a, a third coat so but for now that's it you guys you know, I think it's going to look really pretty. Um, I don't want to move the, the tape off of it yet because I need it to dry. <laughs> but I'm trying to hurry up and get this video done. But there you can see that the mirror has been painted and then the little wreath that I did. So I feel pretty good today. All right, so I had a little bit of spray paint on my fingers, a little wet paint, and I touched my camera and I got a little bit of, a, little dot of, a couple of dots of paint on the top, on the little buttons. And uh, I decided not to try wipe them. I don't want to worry about so they're completely dry and then maybe scratch them off maybe if not well it's okay no big deal it's not into an inside of the buttons like seeped into the little edges it's just like right on the top little dot <laughs> anyway everyone I hope that you enjoyed a little bit of my uh, update of what I'm doing uh, what I'm up to and you got to see a little craft being done and a mirror being painted if that means anything to you maybe you got some tip out of that I don't know or what not to do <laughs> All right, everyone, I'm going to give myself a big old thumbs up and I hope that you too will give me a big old thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. So hit that red button down here and then you'll see the little notification bell. You want to hit that. Choose all so that you get, notice, uh, you get notified of all of my videos as soon as I upload them, which is what I do with everyone that I am subscribed to because I want to get notified of their videos and enjoy them as soon as they upload them. All right, everyone. Thank you all so very much for watching. I'll keep you updated. Um, What's happening next? Oh, well, they're gonna put in some stuff into the house. It's still not finished painting. The gentleman did not come today. He wasn't able to, uh, so <laughs> we're hoping that it's done by the end of the week. It's only Tuesday, so we'll see. All right, everyone, love you all very much. Thank you for watching, as always.